All right, so I've got a bit of a toy collection. Lots of Hot Wheels, lots of lunch boxes. So I'm gonna make a couple part section here. Move my light over. So we'll see what we have here. So it looks like we've got a Jiffy Lube Impala. That must have been from 1998. And we've got White's Guide. And there's a lone spatter paint paint. And it looks like we've got back behind here that's the Collectors Club motorcycle. And there's a 98 treasure hunt. See how dusty it is. Flash cider. And there's a Jiffy Lube oil truck. There's a shopping cart treasure hunt. That's 1999. There's a Japanese issue. And then Yamaha Yamaha Holler. And here's some other neat ones. There's a Vandy Camps Fishosaurus. I believe I got three or four of those. These were kind of hard to get. You had to eat a lot of fish sticks. And there's a 67 Mustang and the Vandy Camps. Uh, what year was that? Ninety-six. There's a Jiffy Lube GTO it's from going to Jiffy Lube. And there's another Jiffy Lube, the Scorching Scooter again. There's another Treasure Hunt from 99. And there's Bob's Toy Show. That was a hard one to get. Holiday Inn. That was in uh, Foster City, California. Ninety-five. There's a Brox. There's a. I believe that's a treasure hunt as well, but that's from Canada. Yeah, I think that shorter package is Canadian. Put that scorching scooter down here. Oh, look, there's a Blast Lane motorcycle treasure hunt. And then these right here were kind of hard to get. CD-ROM bus. Interactive. Of course, that's way over overdue that's uh, Windows 95 so you can tell how old that is it's never been opened and the last thing in there's the history of Hot Wheels 3 Hot Wheels Racing I don't remember what year that was 8,000 of those there's JC Whitney there's another fish source like Diora that's pretty neat. And then the other buses that I've collected. The Blue Angels bus that was hard to get. And then this is the Thunderbirds bus right here. And then this one is the Navy Seal bus. Which I thought was really neat. I believe these were all around the same year. Let me look. Looks like 98 or 96. And there's one that I picked up on a collection. Bug out, I believe. Or power pad. Yeah, power pad. That's just a red line. And there's, let's see, that's just a tie. McDonald's. 
Oh, there's another treasure hunt go kart. And there's some more J.C. Whitney. These were all available back in the late 90s, early 2000s. And then this is Custom Car Designer, which has got another bus in it, BW bus, which were hard to get. Another one with Windows 95. You could do all kinds of stuff, I guess, on the computer. And we do have a few Matchbox. There's a Taco Bell. There's a Matchbox Star Car, which is the Brady Bunch. And then there's a Happy Days truck. Here's another Treasure Hunt. Thunderbird from 2000 year. And here's some Duckwall Alco, which you're out of business now. Alco Duckwall. And looks like I've got, oh, this is, I got this for, as a Christmas present. It's just an Ertl tractor. They're 80, 8340 Ford dual-wheel tractor. 1992. And we'll give you a, a look at some of the other loose ones I've got here. Uh, this might be Road Champions or Racing Champions. I thought it was unique because it's an Edsel. It's a 58 Edsel, probably a Corsair or a Ranger. There's another Matchbox. This is missing a trailer, but it has a I believe this has got a flip up. Is it a flip up hood or something? Yeah, I think it is. Somehow. Yeah, if you flip it like that, it pops open. A V8 in it. And let's see, we've got there's Lucky Charms. That one actually came in a cereal box, which is pretty rare. And there is, this is, a friend of mine got me this from Australia. It's a, that's called a Ford Falcon XC, and it's a Cobra. And it's got the 5.8, if you can even see it, 5.8, which is a Cleveland engine, which was a de-stroked from the ones we had here. Bored out and de-stroked. It's fairly rare to have those here. I can't remember what company makes those, but they're. They're pretty neat. I've got a couple more over there too, larger ones. Then we got a stray cat coming into the storage room. And we've got there's another matchbox made in England. This is one of the super super racers. It's missing some parts, looks like. And then we got models of yesteryear. And then going back down over here, I've got Early Times. That's a 1998 Hot Wheels. Looks like a Pez. There's another, that's an Amco. Amco Racing. Put that over here a second. And a Kenny Bernstein. I think he's retired now. Oh, here's my other Vandy Camps. There's my GTO Vandy Camps. I had to eat a lot of fish sticks to get those. And this one was a hard one to get. It was a Christmas edition, I believe. Uh, maybe not. Uh, but it had a. It was the only one I could find, and it was a Scorching Scooter. And what are you doing over there, dude? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? You be a good boy now, okay? Yeah, scorching scooter, so the package is torn. And here's Pride and Joy from the BW Bus era. Fishosaurus. That one was hard to get. It took me probably three months to get that one. Because they were out of them. And they tried to give me something else, and I kept telling them, no, I want the bus. They finally sent it. There's another one of those Alco Duck Wall. 
And there's, without pulling them out, there's a Flintstone car. There's a gold. I believe that's a Racing Champions. And then there's another VW bus. And there's a Matchbox El Camino. And let's see what this one is. This is the Hot Wheels website one. Which came in just a package. Get that out of the way. Get that up there with the squirrel. And motorcycle. And there's the other one. They had two of them. The gold one were hard to find. And the blue one was a little easier to find. And then there's uh, one of my first edition 97 Scorch and Scooter. And then we'll look at uh, some of these are, I believe, Corgi. Yeah, Corgi, that was my grandmother owned that. And then I found this at a garage sale. Kid never played with it, just barely. You can see a couple of scratches on, on the fender in the back. And I believe this is a Tonka. No, oh, it's a matchbox as well. There's another one there that's a little corgi. And it has uh, working windshield wipers in the front. Of course, it's a little bit ratty now. And then the windows in the back roll up and down. And let's see. There's a Tonka that's a little race car. It went in a set. Most of the time the race cars were gone and the trucks were the only thing left. But I have the race car somehow. And I got my two Marks Slingshot Dragsters. Let's see in the light you can see a little bit better. If it'll focus. Marks. Quality toys. And then they, you pull the little strap in the back and it, and it slingshots. So it's got a little wire that you pull up and it and it works okay there's another one there this one i don't think is one of those old originals i think this is a repop it's just a little friction deal oh and there's my hot wheels viper too down in there you can kind of see it and there's various little Tootsie toys. There's some Matchbox that were out of package. That one I found in the dumpster at Kmart one day before they went out of business. Uh, there's a toilet seat. That's probably in the 80s. Flat out. And there's a little friction car of some sort. And there's another Hot Wheels. And some Pez. And I'll end it there for now, and thank you much for watching, and another thumbs up.